Oh my gosh, guys. Somebody got got. And it's my main rooster. Good morning, everybody. I was coming out here this morning to milk the cows and I saw this light around the corner and I said, oh no, I forgot to leave the light on. And then I looked and I saw the Chiddlers had plugged in this Christmas light, Christmas spirit in February. How about that, guys? How are you guys gonna do it? Come on, Willow, you gonna do it, honey? Come on, Nick, you led the way, no problem. Thanks, man. Willow, come on, come on, yes, come on. Come on, almost, almost, yes. You did it. I didn't have to drag anybody through. Thank you, Nick, for leading the way. Way to be a man, do the right thing. Break up the ice. Let's see if our water's still coming from the pond. It sure is. Changing the baby, looking out the window and realized Nick is out of the paddock, running around down there at the neighbor's property. He ended up back in, but I've turned off the fence. I'm gonna go check and see what the problem was. There's a problem right here. This needs to be connected in order for the juice to get over here to the cows. So we'll do that and look, it's not Nick, thank God. It's Scarlett and she's still out. I dropped the fence, hope they don't all get out and run her back in here. Hey, wild woman, get back in there. Get back in there where you belong. Huh. Yep, there you go. Go in there, go in. There you go, go on. There you go, thanks. Permaculture chickens DVDs business family affair here. Thing one, thing two, packing up the packages. You gonna help them too, Gideon? Look what came via FedEx, guys. Muckboot, it's brand new. And I didn't even have to buy these, man. This is one reason I like muck boots. The ones I had before lasted a really long time, but they developed this gap in the hill and it would aggravate my hill and, and the beautiful one just called them up and told them about it and no questions asked, they sent me these. Hey, they look good on you. How do they feel? Okay. I made. Man, that's nice. What is that? Just beautiful grasslands. Cool. And a heart shape. Oh, look. I got the beautiful one working. What's your job? I am shipping DVDs. And you're having to stuff the ones that permaculture, per, the premium, that get the permaculture playing cards as a bonus. Well, thank you. This is very nice. Thank you. Who cut that heart out? Since the kids all have a little bit of a cold, they got runny noses going on right now. And this one right here, she says that when she blows her nose, it makes her ears feel funny. So, thinking I'm gonna try to give her some elderberry syrup since it's an expectorant as well. Here you go, Lily. Mm, yummy. And then you just think it's water. It tastes really good. You put these outside, that didn't work. It did work, but then I was like, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to wash it again in baking soda because I'd read about that and, and then do a vinegar rinse. And so I thought, well, let's try it again, but it seems like it's worse. Take a big whiff. I can't, it's horrible. <sighs> it's, give you it seems to be getting better, no? Okay, I'll wash it again then. Try it again. Folks, another round. Oh my gosh, guys. Some, and it's my main rooster. It's our prized breeding rooster. This is not cool. He's just stiff as can be over here. His face is purple. Makes me wonder if he didn't get got by a predator then. It's something else. He's cold and stiff, so it's been a while. Uh, he's still a little warm. Wonder what happened. He was pin he was pinned against the fence, so it made me think somebody was trying to get away with him. Some predator, but usually when that happens, they're, they're mangled. He's not mangled at all, and his face is really purple. So we're gonna look into that and figure out what is the matter. So our main rooster's gone. That's bad. That's bad. This is our breeding rooster. I'm gonna have, I, I do have another rooster. He's from a different family. 
So it's not the end of the world if I have to breed with him to keep these girls going. But that's a huge setback. Unless I can talk to my breeder and she's got a grown rooster that we can sub him out. That'd be good to diversify the line, but not too many people are selling prized roosters grown up. Gonna haul him off into the woods. I would compost him right now, but we don't have any hot compost given it's the winter right now. Uh, so I'm gonna put him into the woods for predators. You give them something to eat other than my live chickens. We want to pull off the feathers, can we? Papa, do you think they're sad that the big rooster's gone? I don't think they miss him in like a strong emotional way, but they probably notice he's gone, and I, I don't think they're sad. Ah, oh, shoot, look. Mouse been getting in this bag of feed. I got a solution for this. Got this bucket here. We're going to fill this up with water and this, and this grain, and it'll attract the mouse, and he'll drown, and then we'll feed him to the chickens. Okay, got my bucket of uh, grains, filled that up with water, made it e easy for the mouse to climb up on this, climb up on that, and get down in there. We'll see if it works. Okay guys, so we're gonna prepare another garden bed for the chickens. It's the very first, one of the very first things we're gonna do is put on lime. Should have done this like four months ago, but better late than never. So we're gonna uh, prepare this next ground here for the chickens. They've done their job here, they've tilled. Um, now we're gonna have them come into this area, but first, I'm gonna lime and pick up some trash. Okay, you guys ready? Pick that trash up. Thank you. We'll Check it out. The only problem with getting free wood chips is it sometimes has a lot of trash in it. Is that right, Goose? Y'all's dynamic has changed for sure. Where's the king daddy? Put the lime down, okay? Where's that? Oh, can I help? Man, it smells good. What you got going on in here? Chili oh. and white rice. I got news for you. Okay. Something about our rooster. I know, what do you mean? Our prize rooster. I know, what do you mean something? Like a... Well, it's not been torn up like an animal. So like His a... face was purple. So I maybe need you to look that up and see if we can't figure it out. So I don't know if an animal killed him. He was against the fence, which made me think an animal had got him and tried to drag him off. Right. But there was no sign to that once I got closer. But his head and face was purple. Oh no, look. It's snowing. Is it supposed to snow again? Yeah, tonight. How much? It's tomorrow. How it's much? Like one to three inches. Oh, okay. Oh. Looks like uh, Gideon's excited. Let me watch the nose. Pull. I want to eat more nose. Mm. I want more nose. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Okay, go play. <laughs> Rebecca, I got to tell you. Uh -huh. Days like today, when my champion rooster gets killed or dies, um, Makes me want to quit. I know, it's sad. Now, to let you guys know, she, we looked it up, we did some research. It appears that he's had some heart trouble, or uh, liver, or it could have been something they ate or a disease. I'm kind of weeding out ate, something he ate or a disease because nobody else is killing over. Yeah. So he was get, he's a little, little old for chicken, not like a dino old. Yeah. But he's no he young was. buck. Yeah, he was older. But and we have had chickens just die. Not often, but it has happened. I mean, yeah, and the research says every that's going to happen. While. Yeah. Now, it does make me want to quit. I know. I'm not going to quit. But it is depressing. Cuz you have charge of these animals, you invest years upon years and that can happen. They can die. And you can't fix it really. No. I mean, we can go to our breeder and say, do you have any roosters, good looking roosters? Right. Ready? That's a possibility. Okay, so we have two, we have two roosters left. <laughs> but we wanted to do three families, brief right. breeding families, and he was our chief one. And he was the best one, so. He was the best looking one. There's the ups and downs, for sure. 